my way. So who's next? I'm the totally indestructible king. Someone step up and show me a good time. <laughs> What's up, little girl? You gonna fight me all alone? I like your sense of humor. Excited for nothing. It's not over yet. <laughs> That's more like it. Now we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna take it nice and slow. Make you really feel it before I rip you in half. <laughs>
we've already reached the final round of the Nether Battle Tournament. If I lose this next battle, the team that defeats me will rule the Netherworld. Although, I wonder, is there anyone in all the Netherworlds who can surpass the great Kruchevskoy? All who have challenged me in the past have turned and fled the moment they comprehended my true power. I simply cannot hold in that frustration any longer. But I must hope and pray that there is a single demon in this netherworld who can challenge me. A demon who has attained his full power. Specifically, I hope that demon will be Laharl, my only son. But that may be asking too much. It seems my opponent has been decided. For better or worse, this is the final battle. Come what may, let's make this count. Congratulations, Valvatoris. The tournament champion is officially the Hades Party. powerful as you. Why didn't you reveal yourself to the world earlier? It's a long story, but essentially it's because I was dead. You were dead? Yes, dead. And when I was lost in the furthest reaches of my death, I saw visions of each individual netherworld. There are countless netherworlds beyond this one, and I saw that the demons in all of them have lost their pride and purpose. To regain order among demon kind, I appealed to a certain seraph friend of mine to return me to the netherworld. My goal was to gaze out from above the netherworld and find a demon who could provide guidance to the others. Which is why I decided to conduct the nether battle tournament. So you're responsible for hosting this tournament? That's correct. And the grand prize is actually a personal request. To find a leader who can rule the netherworld and foster pride and purpose in all demons. That is my one true wish. And I can see that potential in you. I know you can reach that ultimate goal. The prize money is at the other end of this room. The netherworld's future is now in your hands. No, thank you. Valvi, what's wrong with you? You came all this way and now you refuse? Don't be so selfish. Gekka would happily take on that role. Don't mistake my intentions. I don't mean to be difficult at this late stage. But I'm also not a pushover. I can't just stand by and let someone pass responsibility onto others. If you truly care about the netherworld, then you cannot simply leave. You should join us! Then you will surely reach your goal. I see. You make a good point. It would be cowardly indeed if I ran away now. 
very well. Krichevskoy. Is that your name? Okay, Krichevskoy. You are now a member of our party. Hey, Miss Gatko, don't you think they're getting along a little too well? Arrival is appeared before Ben Ben Big Fist. Now we can look forward to a melodramatic love triangle type event. Oh, my heart pounding just thinking about it. Your brains have clearly begun to rot. Shall I rip them from your skulls and air them out for you? By the way, Krichevskoy, is the bonus prize at the end of this room as well? The thousand year supply of sodium? Bonus prize? What are you talking about? Huh? Wasn't that the bait you used to lure Valvatoris into the tournament? Mr. Vampire, that whole sardine thing was just a fun little fib I came up with. You? But you're an angel. You can't lie like that. Well, but it was necessary. Otherwise, Mr. Vampire wouldn't have entered the tournament, right? And we couldn't let someone else win the grand prize in Wolven Netherworld, could we? What? I really needed that prize money. Angel Juan told me she'd come up with a plan to fix the corruptor net. Isn't this the same Juan who used all that money you collected to build a giant robot? You're really gonna give her more? Of course! Lady Juan is a truly magnificent angel. I trust her completely to use the money for something worthwhile this time. Oh, so I was fooled. I'm really very sorry. Don't be. It's my own fault for allowing myself to be tricked. It's a good lesson now. Mr. Vampire. Ooh, big fit. We've got some real lovey-dovey action going on now. I would miss this for the world. Next is the part where they embrace and disappear into the sleepless night. If you don't stop this foolish fantasizing, you'll be the ones to disappear. So it's a promise. I promise to whip these corrupted demons into shape using my own two hands. You say it like it's nothing, but do you have any idea how to actually do it? I'll worry about the details later. First, let's go grab some sardines. Then maybe we can start figuring it out. Say something like that. Ooh, what kind of giant robot should I build?